All right, man, this is awesome. We are escaping winter. Finally, it's starting to warm up. Here we are. This is the pre-spawn period. We're between the winter pattern and the spring pattern, and it can be tricky. The good news, we're back in the Hobie kayak. I uncovered it yesterday. I'm so happy to be back in it now that the weather's breaking. The other good news, we're on the home pond today, Lake X. The goal, try to catch some pre-spawn fish. Once again, listen to me. It's tricky, so I don't know what's going to happen. But join me for this going, Ike, and we're going to have fun. Come on, let's yak. Bite of the day. Oh, bad. Pretty big one. <laughs> they don't get that big. That's a pretty big one. But you look at that. That is, uh, that's the old yellow perch. Uh, but these fish, water temperature is in the mid 40s right now. Mid 40s. And uh, these fish are going to spawn first. So in these lakes in South Jersey, uh, the perch and the pickerel will spawn first. Once that water temperature gets around 50 degrees, they'll start to spawn. Uh, you can see that fish is just thick, full of roe probably, uh, real fat. Uh, but these fish always spawn before the bass, and then the bass, and then the bluegill, and it's like a cycle. Uh, so that's good. Interesting thing, you know, this isn't a bass, but you always want to be around fish, around active fish, because where the perch are at and the pickerel, the bass are nearby. So uh, I started real shallow water, and this is the first place I got to where the depth dropped off one foot. That's it. Uh, you know, two foot the whole way. Right now we're in three. So just a little bit of a depth change. Uh, resulted in the first fish of the day. Uh, beautiful yellow perch. So, not a bass, but we'll we'll take that one. Feels good to be back in the yak. These things are fun to catch, and they're really good eating, too, uh, if you like to eat fish. Another nice little yellow perch. Here's the thing. This is really a, a great bait for me this time of the year. When that water's still cold, and it is, mid-40s, this is what I would consider a finesse swim bait. Any swim bait that's, you know, 3, 3.3 3 inches or smaller is a finesse swim bait. And this is a, a Berkeley bait. Uh, this is just a little Berkeley power swimmer. This one's actually 2.8, so it's not even 3 inches, but I have it on an 8th ounce VMC head, little jig head, and I'm just swimming it. One of the things in clear water is you want to present something that's natural. So smaller profile, just has a little tail wobble, and of course it's in a bluegill or a perch pattern. And perch love to eat perch, bass love to eat perch, so that's a good color pattern. Hell yeah! We're gonna switch baits here in one second. It might be a little too fast, maybe. Maybe we need to slow down. It's uh, bass might be a little more lethargic.
Try a bait change here. Three more casts, maybe. Fire smells good, doesn't it? I love that smell, man. That's a good sign. Right there. Mwah. This is definitely, I would not call these small perch. I won't call them jumbos. They're maybe a hair smaller than a jumbo, but they're not little perch, dude. They're good ones. All right, we're around some fish. see that so when that water gets real clear and we're talking about mid 40s a little warmer in this section of the lake a lot of times you got to get real subtle and that's just an eighth ounce ball head with a 2.8 uh, power swimmer by Berkeley um, and it's just got that little movement to it uh, the two movements of this finesse swim bait is you have a tab tail so the tail goes left to right just a little bit subtle but the other movement and this is really honestly a movement on these swim baits that's under talked about is it's got a roll so it actually the body actually rolls right so you have a tail going like this you have a body that's rolling and when you combine those two it's just a real subtle movement cold water clear water even with the wind clear water finesse swim bait one of the best pre-spawn lures you can fish Crappie trees, Louise, that's a big crappie. Holy smokes, dude. Stay on there. Yeah, yes, yes. Look at that thing. Look at that thing. The great thing about this bait, uh, there it goes again, guys, if you have any doubt. Uh, the great thing about a little two or three inch swim bait, this is that Berkeley power swimmer 28 you can really catch a lot of cool multi-species just fishing for bites or fun fishing in this pre-spawn period it gets a lot of bites so panfish crappie walleye pickerel pike you know trout i think gets a lot of bites and that's uh that's definitely a good bonus fish you know we have something called a south jersey slam and that is when you catch a pickerel, a bass, a crappie, a bluegill, and a yellow perch all in the same day. So we've got bass, we've got yellow perch. Now we've got a crappie. That's a pretty big one. I'm actually going to take a picture of this, man, because I don't crappie fish a lot. So I want to get a, get a picture of this. This is, uh, this is cool, man. Big, big slab. Okay, here you go. Wow. I mean, either they just got to biting or we just got into the right area of the lake. I think we got into the right area of the lake. Yeah. <sighs> biting. Hey, they're biting. I felt like another crappie, to be honest, the way it fit. Yep, you're getting a crappie, dude. It's just, they're, they're schooling fish. I mean, I cannot believe the size of these things, dude. Straight up freaking hammers. <laughs> dude, holy heck, dude. 
I mean, look at that thing. Look, hold it sideways. It looks like a flounder. Look at that. Is that a fluke? It's not a fluke that I'm catching them on the swim bait, though. I'll tell you that. Ain't that ain't crappie ain't no joke when they're that thick. Yeah, that was another crappie. I, I can just tell by the way, it's like this. The best way I can describe it is they don't even bite. It's look, look, they don't bite, dude. That's a perch. <laughs> They're like living together, I guess. Well, I hooked them under the gill. That's a good explanation for why that one felt like a crappie. But, damn, this is a lot of fun, dude. Oh boy. Any bait, really, is you want it to change direction a little bit, right? You know, you want it to look like a bait fish swimming, but most bait fish have uh, directional changes, it, right, in the way they swim. So I'm reeling it slow and steady, but I, I put these little pauses and little rod twitches in. And if you watch, like rewind the tape, watch a lot of the bites come when there's a pause or there's a little tip 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 you know like a little rod tip and that's that's important really important yeah we're around them now man holy smokes on. big crappie or it's a bass it's a big crappie holy smokes dude now big big crappie i'm talking about I mean, dude, I can't, I, only I can tell you is when you find the right bait, you catch the fish. And that's, that's all there is to it. That is awesome, dude. That was a big crappie. I don't care who you are. That's a big crappie. That was a weird sound, huh? Meet George Jetson. Jane, his, look at her chasing him. Come back out of there. Jane, his wife. Dun, 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 Daughter Judy. Stanley Sprockets. <laughs> what was the robot's name? Rosie. How can you forget that? Every bait, when you retrieve it, lifts a little as you reel it, you know? And so them pauses and them little tips are letting it, letting it reconnect with the bottom. But fine line between being too low and too high because of all the uh, slime. Uh-oh. Uh oh oh come on yes 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 oh oh no oh no this is part of the slam guys we're a bluegill away if we can land this fish. There you go. Got old uh, toothy. Normally I would not be very happy and, and about this, but we are one away from the South Jersey slam with that right there. So we have yellow perch. Largemouth bass, crappie, pickerel. We're one away. We're a panfish away from the South Jersey Slam. Heck yeah.
Boy, I like catching them out of a kayak, dude. Feels like that wind's dying down a little bit, which I don't love. I'm dead in the middle of those two sets of waypoints. Let's see what happens. But feel that wind dying a little bit. That's got me nervous. Freak of nature, <laughs> dude. I mean, that's an honest to goodness pound and a quarter perch, dude. Look at that. That looks like me after a six pack. I mean, that thing's ready to pop, dude. Now that one is a certified jumbo, jumbo, jumbo. Thank you, jumbo. Wow. Getting burned by this lake. Oh, oh big giant bass! Holy! Oh my gosh! Oh, oh my gosh! Don't you come off of there, please. Dude, like a it's giant. I don't even know how big it is. Oh, smoke. Oh, it's down his throat, dude. He swallowed it. Stay on there. Oh, God. Don't you do it. Ah! 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 I got my motor on and everything. I'm so nervous. That is a good one, dude. That right there. <laughs> Look at the thing that just came out. Now here's the thing. This bait was legitimately down his throat. Back on that little, uh, that's that Berkeley Power Swimmer 2.8 in the sungill color. I have it on an eighth ounce VMC jig head. But that's a good example of the pre-spawn that I'm telling you about. Look how healthy that fish is. Uh, Nice thick fish, beautiful color, and the water went up one degree from where we were fishing. One degree. So big lesson in the pre-spawn, watch your temperature gauge. Of all the times of the year to watch that temperature gauge, pre-spawn is the best time to watch it. A one degree temperature difference, little change of the wind, and there's a big giant bass right there. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. That was a good first bass. Thanks for watching this week's Going Ike. I hope you learned something about fishing in the pre-spawn, especially out of a kayak. While you're here, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button down there. Subscribe to my channel. We got great content coming every single week. And while you're here, check out these other two videos. They're really, really good.